India hopeful to get more business from Australia following its Spirit of India run campaign. I think it's a good uh, chance for us to expose all the tourist attractions of India. We are definitely looking at Australia as one of the markets where it's going to be telecast in a very big way and we want more and more Australians to come to India. There will be a big publicity for tourism and we are all hopeful that with his run and this giving a publicity in Australia, our business from Australia should increase. Namaste Tourism organises an educational programme for Spain and Portugal. We are trying to educate the people that you can do a lot more in Portugal and a lot of diverse experiences be it in air, land or water. So that's that's the kind of thing we are we are doing. And uh, with Osiris they have got 70 unique itineraries with a login and password they can access and send it to the guests covering Portugal and Spain both. Very good momentum to Spain and to Portugal. And a huge increase in the query so we are in the good track. Sri Lankan Airlines launches B2B packages. We uh, have given uh, very much importance to the uh, travel fraternity by working very closely with the travel agents as well and offering them this exclusivity of the package which is uh, 1999, so 19,999 for a uh, two nights, three days stay. The feedback we've received so far has just been phenomenal and people are you know, loving it and that will be the beginning of the influx of Indian tourists in Sri Lanka. Cyprus Tourism plans to work closely with the private sector in India. Cyprus is one of the, the largest islands in uh, the Mediterranean, in fact. One of my objectives to assess the areas and the states where Cyprus and uh, Indian companies can work together. 